Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofunet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead Marsh difficulty. Last time we found this gruesome beating heart beneath the whispering hillock when we were trying to fix the problem that the people of Downworn were was having. And we actually uh, made a pact with that thing down there. We're gonna try and set it free because it's actually a sorcerer that has been trapped by the crones of Crookback Bog. It, uh, it told us the children were abducted, the children at the orphanage were abducted, and that he can set them free. So, we're gonna try and fix that now, shall we? So we need to find his body, a bit like the... Uh, I had to find the body of the father of the Pallor. So that's the water hag. And there goes the last of the drowners. For now that is. So his Body should be around here somewhere. That's a wickedly looking tree up there. So let's see. There we go. Something wrong here. It looks like strange bones. Don't seem human to me. And that's a very weird thing to say. So the bones of that man should have been human. Since he mentioned he was a sorcerer before. So hopefully we didn't make a terrible mistake by trying to help this man. So we need to get around this hill and find a wild horse. So I should also mention that I've uh, spent a lot of time in between recordings doing a lot of the the side quests, mainly the side quests that don't have a lot of story to them, such as the bandit camps, the monster nests, etc. So I uh, have found a lot of better equipment, I found a few extra bombs, a few extra oils, so I'm overall better suited for combat later on. And I think I have most of the oils right now, so I might even take a few points into uh, poisoning enemies but first that horse I also leveled up uh, because of my extra work so I'm gonna see what I can use right now so we're still gonna focus on science for now uh, until we unlock the lower regions where we can add extra abilities and different mutagens so the next thing I want to take is uh, the upgraded Axie version so we can control enemies and get them to our side. So I'm going to take two levels of that, allowing them to become an ally and they deal 40% more damage while they're an ally. So let's put that over there. And you can also see that I made a better mutagen to put in that second slot. So, all upgraded. So we can go find that horse. So there are a few horses here. I'm gonna try and use Axie to tame one of them. And there we go. Move it. So this horse is really temporary just so we can uh, transfer the soul of that being underneath the tree into this horse which really sounds gross if you think about it go go so we can take the new entrance that the heart made at the other side of the hill to guide the horse in so there we go And with all ingredients present, we should be able to perform the ritual needed to revive... Well, kind of revive... The spirit beneath ready. the tree. Start. Let me fly, I wings. Lay things 
miss me the feathers. Place all beneath my heart. My heart, you must pierce and break the steed. Okay, so right now we can still make the decision between uh, actually just going into a fight with him. Um, we can also kill it without starting a fight. So tricking it into believing we're gonna help it and then destroy it. But as I've said before, I'm gonna do the ritual as we're supposed to do, because that will really save those children. So there we go. I offer raven feathers. Once I was free, I shall be free once more. I offer your remains. Once I was flesh, I shall be flesh once more. You look like flesh right now. Okay. We have it. Free the children. I shall. A word once given must be honored. So, Black Beauty. That's a, a nice touch. That's also the horse of Zorro. But hey, so that concludes the Whispering Hillock quest. Um, it now kinda is implied that the children are saved, but to uh, reassure everyone. So in the character entry for the ghost in the tree, we now read that the spirit was set free and the dark powers afflicting the whispering hillock were dispersed. So the problem with that is we're still not really sure if the children were ever abducted. And if the children, if they were abducted, are now saved. So what's this? Okay. Hello, Elderman. Didn't know you could come here. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? Um. Okay, spirit had possessed a tree. An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How do you dispel this evil? Huh. That's not going to detail, and that. Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said, I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. And he doesn't soon. look pleased about it. Because the man... Kind of has a... Um... Yep, there we go. Ouch. Felt that in my own ear. There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods. Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. And that's something we can live with. So yeah, those ears are all real. There we go. 
sacrifice, as we call it. But of course, I don't think the ladies of the wood will be pleased. And there they are. Sheathe your weapon, young man. You even love me in real life. You are life, you're different. Than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. So meet the crones. There's the symbol again. The crones of Crookback Bog. Three witch sisters. You disobeyed us once more. Yes, we did. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. So, confirming that they were abducted. They never wanted to flee. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence! We must speak to the white-haired one. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs yes, to no man. indeed. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come, it is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. So... You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. <laughs> if you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? Oh, um, no. Nope. Is that polymorphism? Yeah, it is polymorphism, but... You know why I'm here. You know what I want. You shall dream of us and return for what you reject. They always come back. I don't think so. And his face says the same. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not free, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? Kind of. I freed the spirit trapped in the tree. Hear that, sisters? Traitor! No. She took the children, but her. Her? We made a deal. I was supposed to help the villagers. I held up my end of the bargain. They're safe now. So, a mockery you chose to outwit. Yep. So, let's ask them... I, I want to know both, but let's start with the kids. What did you need the children for? We? We? They needed us? Our care. You expose them to great danger! We cannot help them because of you! Leave it, sisters. Everything in its time. So, tell me about the woman I seek. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given we never break. Where have we heard that before? The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. 
She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Sounds like Siri. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. So where is she? Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. And there we go again. We knew someone supposed to die. We read beast and trails, saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a blood. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seed that would burst into flame. So they took her. She fell into our hands. Elder blood. Mm, the blood of the traitress. But Siri is a smart girl. Does she sleep like a lamb? Come, sisters, no point in dawdling. The table set, the cauldron bubbles. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Emulus will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. I'm plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it. Oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. So she ran away. With Imlorith, the rider of the wild hunt, at her trail. Come back. Come back. Come back. Yes. So the only objective we get is to escape Crookback Fall. Which will summon a lot of stuff, because the Wild Hunt is after us. But reaching the top of the hill allows us to escape. So the iconic round mask is the one of Imlorith. And now we know a bit more. You tried to kill her, tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood, the taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl, but you know that. So after she escaped Imblerit, she fell Such down, and that's when we uh, started the King of Wolves quest with Gretka, the little girl. So we know what happened after that, when she eventually got found her way towards the Baron. So 
The key to the story still lies with the Baron, and now that we know where Anna is, his wife, since she's right here, we can finish off that story completely. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. Your return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die this new handsome night. Ah, <laughs> fucking gross. And there they go. So, the lovely crones aren't as lovely as you might think. So first, we're gonna add back Storm, to the Baron and finish off our fetching information. Uh, if I find the fast travel point. So with the revelation that Bran is actually Anna Stranger, the Baron's wife, there's only one little mystery that remains regarding this story. Both the fisherman and Tamara Stranger, so the Baron's daughter, mentioned that uh, her mother was kidnapped by a giant beast. Now that we've seen the crones in person, we know that that beast was not any of the crones themselves so we might suspect that there is something else lurking in those swamps okay thank you roach thank you roach oh god damn it out of the way slow now And then the horse got in the way. So, back at the Baron. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? So, we have located your wife, dear Baron. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have we not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. No, I was supposed to find her, didn't. and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> well, yeah. Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches, but for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's story. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. Alright then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. So let's hear it. Come on, man. Manny, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, 
and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. <laughs> so yeah, kind of your fault. Still seems like your fault to me. Will you let me finish? All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. So why did you stay with her instead of abusing her? How do you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. I found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the ass by a horse. I went to find the bugger to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Great. So, <laughs> seems they call you bloody for a reason. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. <laughs> Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. And as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Why did you stay together? Why is that not an option? Why did you stay together? Seriously. Okay, um... Seems you deserve each other or you're at fault. Because he kind of is at fault. He could have handled her well, inappropriate behavior differently, but hey. Got only yourself to blame, I think. Leaving her to fend for herself. How was I not to? I was a soldier. I had no choice. There's always a choice. Ah, sod it all. I see all my prattlings for naught. You won't bring Anna home, I know that. Will you betray to me how she landed in that bloody swamp? Your wife is with the crones, as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? What crones? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. So, oh, you need to say that I've the leader of Valen does not know about the crones? With. How on earth did she land there? A fiend, now he's really particular about that. Because it actually was a fiend. They fled by night, 
They were riding past the forest when a beast serving the crones attacked them and abducted Anna. A beast? Bloody hell. And Tamara? Was she hurt? No. Oh, thank the gods for that. So, Annie? What happened to her? The creature carried her deep into Crookback Bog. Didn't harm her, though. In fact, Anna seems content there. Content? What is this tripe, Witcher? What in bloody blazes is she doing in that swamp? Well, I just... I fucking just thought you... She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word. In their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently, and I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not, but I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. And so we will, but we had a deal, man. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Again. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. So we ended the horse race. Gargantuan. One and the basilisk attacks Syria and the Baron.